Let's look at, a, at an example of how to calculate the consumer price index. A consumer price index is based on the idea of a market basket. Now, a market basket is a representative group of goods and services purchased by a typical household of four. The market basket includes eight major categories of goods and services, food and beverages, housing, apparel, transportation, medical care, recreation, education, and communication, and other goods and services. The Bureau of Labor Statistics actually tracks the cost of this market basket on a monthly basis. They actually employ people to go out and check prices. So hey, if you're looking for a job, there you go. So let's look at a very simple example of how the CPI is calculated. Again, I emphasize very, very simple. In this example, our market basket consists of 10 pins, 5 shirts, and 3 pairs of shoes. To calculate the CPI, we first have to calculate the total dollar expenditure on the market basket in two years, the current year and the base year. The base year is a benchmark year that's going to serve as a basis of comparison for prices in other years. So first we want to calculate the total expenditure on the market basket in the current year. Currently, the price of a pen is 70 cents. So we multiply that by 10, 10 pens, to get a total expenditure of $7. So that's we're spending $7 on pens in the current year. We do the same for the shirts, $14 times 5, and the shoes, $30 times 3. We add those all up and that gives us our total expenditure on the market basket in the current year of $167. Now we need to calculate what we would have spent on the same items in the base year. So the quantity is the same. What's changed is the price. In the base year, a pen only cost 20 cents, so our total expenditure on pens would have been $2. Shirts only cost $7, and shoes were only $10, which brings our total, market total expenditure on the market basket in the base year to $67. Okay, So same quantity, same items, the only thing that's changed is the lower price. So look at the base year, $67, and the current year, $167. It's easy to see that prices have gone up. But we want to know how much they've gone up. So basically, we're going to calculate the ratio of the expenditure on the market basket from the base year to the current year. So the CPI is equal to the total dollar expenditure on the market basket in the current year divided by the total dollar expenditure on the market basket in the base year, which, and then we multiply it by 100. So we take 167 divided by 67. That gets us our ratio. Multiply it by 100, so we're working with nice round numbers. That gives us a CPI of 249. Let me ask you this. Think about this. What would the CPI have been in the base year if we did this calculation for the base year? If we calculate the CPI in the base year, the current year and the base year are the same, right? Um, so the current year would have been 67, the base year would have been 67. When you divide 67 by 67, you get 1. Multiply it by 100, your CPI would have been 100, right? Here's a little fun fact. The CPI in the base year is always 100. No matter when the base year is set, the CPI in the base year is always 100. So a CPI of 249 relative to the base year of 100 tells us that prices have more than doubled. So it kind of gives you a fast and dirty um, way to get an approximation of how much prices have changed if you know that the, the, the CPI in the base year is always going to be 100. Currently, the base year used by the government is actually an average of prices over the years 1982 to 1984. Um, so, for instance, um, if we were to look at the CPI um, in July of 2010, it was 218. So that tells us that prices have just about doubled in the last, you know, from that period of time that about 20, over those 28 years. So again, you could actually do a percentage change calculation and find out exactly how much they've changed. But knowing that the CPI in the base year is always 100 makes it kind of easy to get a rough approximation. If you'd like more detailed information about the CPI, you can visit the website for the Bureau of Labor Statistics at www.bls.gov. Here, just for grins, is a look at the CPI market basket from December of 2012. This kind of gives you an idea of what we're looking at. Um, 
Here we have expenditures for housing, food and beverages, other goods and services, education and communication, recreation, medical care, transportation, and apparel. So obviously housing is the biggest chunk, right? And then it looks like transportation and food and beverages are very close. Um, then the next thing is medical care, obviously medical care. Um, and the cost for medical care is something that's on the minds of a lot of folks these days. So that just gives you an idea of the makeup of the market basket and, and the relative um, importance of the different categories. Um, also note the information here, um, they're surveying 14,000 households um, to, to do this, to calculate the CPI. So again, there's a lot of statistical modeling going on there. Um, and there are also some other additional issues with the CPI as well that you can read about in the textbook.